Can you haven't washed it since. Well, it's me scratter top when I do stuff in it. Scratter's the right word. Wow. Mmm. What you say, you want hungry, so jammy dodger tipping. Right, here we go. Into Lidl. Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I literally just ended the other vlog. Don't you look pretty this morning? No, I don't feel pretty, but my eyes are stinging. I think I've got a fever again. I need to get another histamine. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Um, yesterday, last night, Nick didn't answer the phone to our Tesco delivery driver man because he didn't recognise the number and um, they took it back to the store. Because it brings a whole new meaning to f it, which was our yesterday's motto, which may extend now until Tuesday until the delivery comes. However, we may attempt to go and have a look at a remote town where there's no tourists, um, what Lidl's like. And if it's all right, we may venture in, but we'll have to give it, we'll have to give it, play it by ear. However, back, first of all, I've got to go and paint, it's great. Just Any answer your bleeding thing? phone next time it rings. Well, I'll put your number down and you can answer it. Oh, oh, fine by me. cut my hair in this top, didn't we? And you haven't washed it since. Well, because it's my scratter top when I do stuff in it. Scratter's the right word. Right, I need a, um... Don't be long, I want my coffee. Oh no, you've got this, you see it. Right. Painting for you. Got my brush, my paint, my screwdriver. I reckon you'll need your hoodie on, I bet it's cold outside. Oh, it sounds refreshing. Right, so this is this morning's task. So I've got to paint all that, including all the concrete green, to try and blend in with the grass. I know it's the wrong colour, but it's much better than being a bright white. We did see some uh, more grass green paint, but it, it was lighter than the grass. And I don't think you can ever get a different, correct colour. So, uh, let's crack on with this. All done? All done with the painting? Yeah. Much better? Yeah, we'll show you when we go out. Yeah? Covered in paint. Did, one, did a little one at the back as well. Right. Now, because I've done all that, I'm going to leave Daddy. Yeah, I'm going to do an all because it's an absolute shit stain here. Don't forget my Smart Cafe in one cup from your coffee. Oh, there's no for breakfast. We ain't got a Tesco delivered. Sorry. There's um, yoghurt, apple and grapes in the fridge. Is it working? No, this is garbage. <laughs> Never buy a car, they're absolute garbage. We've got some petrol on his um, driveway by, we don't know who, I presume a gardening truck. So Nick sprayed WD-40, as we saw on Google, when we Google how to get rid of it. it didn't work. Didn't work? No. So what's this now, patio and deck cleaning or something? I don't think that works either. And also this um, coucher end is also not working. It always breaks that. It's not working now. <laughs> Right, so we're just doing this and then we're heading to Lidl. Our first supermarket visit since before lockdown. Not necessarily, we've got a Tesco delivery book, but we may end up just, if it's really quiet, I mean, we'll, we'll go in. One, so... Come on, hurry up. Can you see what it's got? No, uh, maybe there, I don't know. There. You have to sit, wait and see while it's dried. How exciting. We're going to our first supermarket since lockdown. Potentially. <laughs> We'll have to see well, if it's quite, I mean, we've purposely driven away from the coast into the middle of nowhere to the nearest Lidl that's non-touristy and we're just going to, I mean, it is a weekend, so. Exactly, I think Nick's dreaming. Well, it's a Sunday. We'll have a look. It's going to be rammed. We'll have a look. But I don't mind going in. As we're, long as people are behaving and they're walking, like, not, like, lurching up for each other for pineapples well, and stuff. You won't know that until we get in. So, so we've printed off our Tesco list, which should have arrived last night. And we just need a few bits and bats to go with our muscle food meat, don't we? So we can make some meals. I mean, tonight is supposed to be like a um, beef, what are you going to make? Beef strip We haven't thing in the name for it yet, but it's going to be something like that. But um, we've heard that our local Tesco that was really good during Isn't lockdown great, is no. starting to get a bit laxical now, so people are slipping. Plus, when I go to the supermarket, I do like to go to Lidl. 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 <laughs> I do like to go to Lidl or Aldi because I think they've got a lot better range of things, more unique things, so I do like to go to those. So. It'll be interesting to see. We know Ooh, how a cake much and coffee shop there. It will be interesting to see, without being interrupted. Continue uh, on B1. For frick's sake, nine. it's not you, it's there. It'll be I'll interesting try again. to see. It'll be interesting to see. We know how much our Tesco order is going to be to see how much money we're going to save at Lidl. I mean, obviously, I know what Lee's like. He'll be throwing all sorts in as we go around. Mm -hmm.
Right, we're charging on Gary today. Let me just the pod point. Yeah. And I love it how when you get the one that says pain display fees do not apply to electrical vehicles. So it's charging and it's free car park. When you charge on pod point, you have to, um, it starts charging straight away, but it'll disconnect after 15 minutes unless you actually tell it on the app that you're charging. Yeah. So I'm just about to do that now. Right, we're gonna have a little mooch in town first. Right, our first stop's done. We just dropped off the faulty electrical socket that we got from Amazon that we changed over the other night. So we've just dropped it off at a local shop. We're walking back now into the town centre, or the little village centre. We're actually in Driffield. Um, and we're gonna find somewhere to have um, toasted current tea cake and hopefully a cup of tea. And then once we've done that, we're gonna head back to the car, grab the reusable shopping bags and head to Lidl and see how it is. Ooh, it's exciting. Right, so we found somewhere. We sat outside. We're in somewhere called Costello's, sat out the front. And they do these lovely, like, crumbly kind of cakes and things. Cake boxes. Cake boxes. Um, any for half a nine quid. Are we taking them back? I was just going to say, can we get one? I've just seen them. They have a date crumble and a caramel apple crumble. We could have had one just instead of toasted toast currant tea cake. Well, you always like to go for the old familiar. We could have both. That looks like a nice one. It smells spicy. It smells, I can smell the yeah. fruit in it. Can you? Yeah, I can actually. I'm not overly hungry, but I'll have a bite or well, two. Don't be having it if you don't want it. I'll because have a bite I or two. can quite willingly have this myself. I know, but you put two pound on yesterday. I don't you, so shit. you just lose that two pound before well, weighing day you know tomorrow. What, you know what week it is? What's that? <laughs> Give me my slice. Why? Jammed up. You've said you don't want it, so I don't. know, but I might as well have it for my lunch. This is not your lunch. It's strawberry jam as well, I'm afraid. No raspberry for you. If you're not hungry, let me have it, because I am. There's your milk. I've got to say that that's one of the nicest mm -hmm. total current tea cakes I've ever had. Very, nice. very cinnamony and very I'm spicy. I'm going to have a quarter, but I'm going to have another quarter now. Is there anywhere else you want to go after here? Oh, I've got a down there. Down, down the Will Coles is down there, your trading company. Not trading company, there. See if we can get anything for garden, more for garden to spruce it up a little mm -hmm. bit. Oh, like some little gnomes and butterflies and stuff. And no. Wow. Mmm. What you say, you want hungry, so jammy dodger tiffin. Ooh, got it. What is a tiffin then? No like, idea. Well, it's one of those like, but... Well, I'm just, I'll have a, have a little bit. I'll have a little bit. Sure, but it's all like white chocolate all the way through. So, let me cut it and we'll see what's in it. Mmm. What is it's it? Basically, a, a it's a tiffin. Biscuit. Tiffin. It's a tiffin. Right, here we go. Into Lidl. First supermarket visit. Are we a bit warm? <laughs> no. We've got us Disney uh, reusable bags. Just need to get a trolley. We've got us list. Let's do this military operation in, out. In, out, done, gone. Right, I've got to say it's pretty easy. I mean, when we come in, the spray to wipe the um, trolley is broken and they had no wipes left, so that was a bit of a downer. Um, but there's not many people around. There's it's not, people. It's not a one-way system, but it's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah, so, I don't have any bag of either. Oh well, good, I don't like it. There we go, not bad at all, nice and easy really. £60 we got a bottle of gin as well. Well yeah, actually. And one more up. It's raining, now we've got to walk back to the car. Come on, come on. Right, we've just got back to the car and uh, all the shopping's in the boot and we've just been sat here just working out what we've actually saved by coming here and doing this at Lidl. So we spent 60 quid, the Tesco order should have been 65, we've got a bottle of gin, we've charged the car for free and we haven't had to pay for parking. <laughs> and we've had a toasted currant tea cake and a jammy dodger tipping. Yeah. A cup of tea. So, bargain saved there. Was, it, so we're a, five, I, we're a fiver up and we had to pay for any, any fuel. I know a lot of people watching will be like, yeah, we've been going to supermarkets for months. Well, yeah, as you know, we haven't. That wasn't bad at all. There was nothing wrong with that. I mean, we have come away from the tourist area on a quiet rainy day in the middle of basically nowhere. And there, were, there weren't many people there. There were nobody in town. No, and it's so, um, on a Sunday. I imagine during the week that's absolutely even, even quieter. Yeah. Um, there was a few bits and bats we couldn't get. We wanted Nick wanted some hoisin sauce, hoisin sauce, tonight. and some meal, some Chinese five spices. So I'll have to um, I'll have to improvise when we well, get back to the. Well, we got a couple of different sauces instead. Didn't we black bean sauce and yeah. a, uh, what else did you get? Sweet, Sweet and sour. sour, just in case. But yes, I can uh, mix something up in the cupboards anyway. Like soy sauce and honey and things like that. I agree. It was quite nice actually. That just to it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was nice just to have a look around at a supermarket again and yeah. look at some things. Even though we were military running around. Yeah, we weren't bad at all, although I forgot to look for it. Apparently Lidl do some really nice Oppo alternative ice creams and they do mint flavour. The, the one thing I really wanted to get and I completely forgot until we were out of store. Horrible mint. Right, let's get back to the lodge. Bye. 
Little haul, little haul, oh, little oh, haul. Oh, extras. <laughs> we have some um, fake Walker's French fries. Uh, Nick got these humongous bottle of beers. They were on clearance. He's absolutely humongous. So all this cost less than it would have done with our Tesco delivery, and we um, got a bottle of gin. What? Bloody hell, they're big. Let me try. Mm. I think I don't want to hear that. I know, but I'm going to be going. I'm going to be grunting now. Right, that's that done. Okay, stop grunting. Disgusting. So we got some orange and passion fruit gin, which we've been recommended by a few people. And then uh, here's the sauces we've got. Sweet and sour, and there's a black bean one somewhere there. So instead of fire hair yogurts, we got this creamy Greek coconut style yogurt for breakfast. We got these. Five plain bagels. Um, did you get some um, mushrooms, you said? Yes. Because we want to recreate that um, bagel that we had the other day at the vegan place. Mm. It was beautiful. Um, I finally got some decaf coffee. Um, so I can have some coffee on an evening. This um, needs some work. Well, it's because of all bottles of wine that Sandy got as well. That and all the um, bottles of semi-skimmed. It's food preparation time. What are we having? What are you conjuring us? Oh, I'm not really sure what it is. It's kind of inspired by what we used to have with Hello Fresh. So we're using mm. some beef. Beef uh, steak mince. Beef. It's like a quality mince. Alright, oh, okay. But you're going to cut it up into like beef strips? No, because it's mince. Eh? Yeah, it's beef though. Eh? How can I cut mince up? What are you going to, just explain to me what you're doing. I'm doing Thai. Yeah. Beef mince. So it's, we'll call it the Lodge Guys Thai Beef Mince Dish. Yeah? Whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to have some sugar snap peas in it. That's all I know for definite. And some coriander. We're just trying this gin that we got from uh, uh, Lidl today. It's all right, it's a bit sweet, isn't it, I think? It's got a weird, I yeah, can taste more passion fruit than anything else. It's not as nice as the Seville orange from Aldi. That, no. one, that one's nicer. It's still nice though. Um, so the heating has gone on for the first time in a long time. Nick is cold, is there in his hoodie. That's why I'm cooking in my hoodie. And he just put the heating on to 22. I mean, I have to admit, it, is, it has got colder today. Um, and nothing's happened with the thing. No. Hopefully Still tomorrow. Because it's Sunday today, so I didn't expect anything today anyway. That's a lot of garlic. I know. Gloves. I like it garlicky. So hopefully tomorrow... Um, the thing will progress. Yeah. Um, we do actually have some friends that we're meeting tomorrow. Oh, and if all goes to plan, then we're meeting them for a coffee. They are actually bringing us something that I can show you guys on the on the vlogs, and I know you'll really like it. Um, it's, it's something Disney related. Yeah, it's something Disney related. It's something for our new apartment, um, and these guys uh, have got it for us. Not we had it sent to their address because it was quite large and we didn't have anywhere else to send it. Um, so we're meeting them for a drink tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be able to show you that if they bring it. Right, I'm gonna leave you to cook while I... Um... Well, since this is not like a HelloFresh recipe, maybe we'll just briefly explain in the vlog how to make it. Get it all prepared then. So I will get it all prepared and then we'll come back. Right. Rice is on. Basmati. Rice is on. It's not supposed to be a basmati, it's supposed to be a jasmine, but we got the wrong one, so we'll have yeah, to there's a lot of meat in this, isn't there? Well, it's supposed to be 250 grams and it's only a 200 gram pack, so I've just put two in. So, but it'll cook down when it's... When it's um, and what we got over here? Well, let me guess. Red onion. Um, lazy garlic? No. Fresh garlic. Okay. Um, lazy ginger. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Pickle ginger. Horrible coriander. Red pepper. And That's a lime. A lime and a chicken stock cube, is it? Yes. Chicken stock cube for beef. Yeah. Makes sense. So basically, you chop all that, you fry that, you put your rice on, um, and then once this is cooked, we'll come back and we'll do the next bit. It just looks like a HelloFresh meal. I know. Well, it's inspired. I've got the, the kind of flavours that you get with HelloFresh tend to be coriander, ginger, and lime. Yeah. So, and this is supposed to be like a green. Um, oh, they didn't have any pepper. green pepper. They didn't have any green all the But I'm sure it'll be fine. So it'll be green for the coriander. So you put them in and you cook them. You've made your own ketchup money. Yep, so soy sauce and a little bit of honey, which is basically sweetened soy sauce, which is all ketchup money is. Mm. And um, I have put a little bit of tomato puree in as well to give it a bit of a. A beefy tomato tends to go nice. So yeah. I'm just going to cook these for about six to eight minutes and then I'm going to chuck the um, the garlic, the ginger and the coriander in, then the ketchup manis, then the sugar snap peas 
then serve it with the rice. And we'll come back in a moment. I'm off for my mum. Right, the, his mother's phone call extended, so basically all the ingredients has gone yeah. in that I had. Yeah. I've mixed some lime zest through the rice and a bit of coriander. Everything else in there, everything's cooked, and I've saved half a lime. Um, we're literally going to serve that now on this, squeeze the lime on it and scoff it. It smells exact. I wonder if it's ketchup manis that smells oh, like that, because it, it smells just like a Hello Fresh it's meal. It's basically um, soy sauce with um, honey. With honey. Apart from this this steak, I mean, there's a lot. Well, yeah, it's going to be a big. Maybe it'll keep us filled. Well, filled there's, for the there's night. There's twice as much meat, and um, there's a lot more sugar snap peas. So we won't even fit in the dish. We have a watch party at eight o'clock tonight. I can't remember if I said that or not. We're watching Fright Night, the original Fright Night from about 1988 or something like that. It used to be one of my favourite films when I was a teenager. I used to watch it every night. You used to have a film that you used to watch every night as well, didn't you? I'm sure, you once told me. Superman 2. Mm. Superman 2? I've it every day. Mm. I used to watch Fright Night every day for months. I used to love it. There's a bit extra free food, free food on the grill. Right, let's nosh on this. Right. Verdict? These pots are coming out like dusty, almost feeling. You know what I mean? No. It was very nice. I came back for thirds. There was a lot. Second there wasn't much there. sauce. I actually doubled up on the sauce. We put a bit more soy sauce on it while we were sat at the table. It's not as nice as when you get the uh, the cap jack manis, even though I did actually mix it for, to, according to the spec. See, feel that. Mm, right, maybe right. I put too much salt in the dishwasher, but that smell's gone. Have you noticed? Can you hear it? Yeah. What do you mean now? Sports mix. It, it definitely had a. Um, all right, we get the dish. It's it got dust. It had a um, Hello Fresh taste because it was the Ken Jack Manis. Well, it's the coriander, the lime, the ginger, and the uh, the garlic as well. Maybe. And the um, the beef steak mince, the Muscle Food beef steak mince was delicious. It wasn't like normal mince. It was quite chewy, wasn't it? Can you just show around the steak things when you when you cook? Look there. I've here, used, wait a minute. Here. There's one pan which I cooked it in. Well, what about There's my chopping board. And there's the things from the rice, and then these are your mucky pots from the day. When I cook, which is very rare, I tidy you as I go along. Shall I show everybody what your cooker looks like? What? That's Lee's cooker. Mm, whatever. Right, what time are we having this watch party? 8 o'clock. We're at Fright Night, the original Fright Night, one of Lee's favourite films. With um, Roddy McDowell. Is that him from. Um, He's dead now, Planet of the Apes? Yes, the original ones. Hmm. That one's mine. That one sports mixture that's left. We've just started our film, Fright Night. Lee's already on his phone, he's already bored, and it's not even got to the credits. I'm talking about the film on Discord. Are they all moaning because it's an old farty film? No, they all think it's cheesy, but it's only this little bit. It is cheesy, it's from 1980s, but it's still, it's still, it wouldn't be a watch party if you didn't have something to bitch about. Ooh. I might have a Kit Kat chunk in a Kit Kat cup of tea. Ooh, that would have been weird yesterday when I had that Kit Kat. Peanut butter. Is it, I always think peanut butter is a little bit weird in a Kit Kat. It is, but I'll still have half a one with you, I'll share it. Hello guys, it's the next day. We went to bed as soon as we we'd finished watching Fright Night last night. We were exhausted. Um, yeah. Must be all that food we had. Yeah. So it's Wayne Day today. It's Wayne Day today. Um, so I imagine I'll go up the scales. Oh, I'll imagine you go up. Um, so thanks for watching today guys, we're going to finish the vlog now, hit the like button, click the notification bell, hit that subscribe button, um, drop us a comment below, we always read all comments, and check out tomorrow's video when hopefully we'll be getting something Disney from our friends when we meet them for coffee. Oh is that today? Is that, is that today? Well tomorrow for you guys, yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.